Q, a broken nose, swollen face, and concussion. Those are the injuries a South Bend teenage girl had after a fight at Washington High School. On WSBT 22, Suzanne Spencer has been looking into this. And Suzanne, the lawyer representing the family, plans on suing. In the next two weeks, Rick, that lawsuit could be against the South Bend Police Department, the Mayor's Office, the South Bend School Corporation, and the Risk Management Commission. Now, this all stems from a fight in the high school, and if there was a South Bend Police Officer there acting as a resource officer when it all happened. These photos show the aftermath of a 16-year-old's alleged battle in a high school cafeteria. The child that I sent to school was not the child that I was that I was looking at when I came back in. Her mother, Melinda Mayfield, says she expected her child to be safe while in the school building. What I expect is to pick up the same child, not pick up a child whose face is battered. In this notice of tort claim, attorney Vince Campiti says the girl was, quote, brutally beaten by another student, while, quote, no resource officer was present. He claims it is regular practice and routine that Washington High School has security personnel present during the lunch hour. The point in the question is, once it began, why wasn't re it responded to in a much quicker fashion? The delay in the response time is what resulted in this in this child's most major injuries. The whole thing was allegedly caught on video. In a letter to the superintendent, Campiti asks for that video. I was advised that it does not, it no longer exists, meaning that the video has been um, deleted, destroyed, is gone. So there is no video that we can observe. Campiti says he plans to sue because the family doesn't want this to happen again. I would hate for somebody else's daughter to go through the, the exact same thing. The city of South Bend sent me a statement saying no comment on this. I also reached out several times today to various Washington High School personnel and still have not heard a response. At the live desk, Suzanne Spencer, WSBT 22 News.